Good morning. How you doing? I'm still at a campsite in California today because you guessed it, if I were to go up in uh, the desert where I usually go and disperse camp or even in like some national forest that I go, it's still pretty hot. We got to lower temperatures for like a few days and then it went back up. So I'm still waiting. Hence, we're at a campground and I am gonna give you a camp tour in just a minute. But first, we gotta make some coffee. Ooh, yes, baby. Ah. It's every time, it's so good. Especially when I freshly grind it. <laughs> so I know what you guys are thinking. I usually like to go disperse camping because I don't like to pay for campgrounds. But where I'm usually at, for the most part, which is on the coast, at the beach, if I wanna go disperse camping, it takes about an hour and a half to two hours. And at this point, it's hot. It makes sense if I go there and stay for three to four nights. However, this campground, it's only like half an hour away from the coast. And if I'm only gonna stay two nights, it's 20 bucks an hour. It's, it's, it's not 20 bucks an hour, it's 20 bucks a day or a night. I should say, then it's actually cheaper for me to stay here. And then it makes it much easier to drive back on the coast by the water where I like to stealth camp. Plus it has amenities and water and a porta potty. It does have showers. It has showers, but they don't run, so. With that being said, let me give you a tour. Let's start with the view. Right here I got my chair and that's my view. And what's nice about this campsite is that it has a lot of trees. So for the most part, at any given time of the day, I can find some shade. Here is your typical stuff, your barbecue grill, the campfire pit, which also has this grill here if you want to cook over the campfire which i've done in the past go back and check out those videos a table and that is my water jug which i filled up and i use for pretty much washing everything from my face and myself to dishes i uh, usually keep that thing on the roof rack empty so i only take it off when uh, I know there's water or I need water nearby. So I don't really keep it up there with water. It's just added weight and I don't really feel like I need to carry that around. It says that it's a 25 liter, so it's probably around seven gallons, maybe less of water, which brings my van total with the five gallon water jug and two individual single one gallon uh, water jugs to 14 Which is not bad. We have the porter potty right over there. It's far enough where I don't smell it But it's close enough next to it. We have the spigot where I put the water and then trash cans and last but not least My home All right, I need to clean those solars. Where's uh, it's all the way back there, but I need to grab it got some super dirty solar panels here so no wonder we're not getting enough
So the sun is not all the way on top, but it is in the middle. Let's see what we're getting. Also the fridge is running in the background. Yep, so we're getting about 62, which is great. If the fridge wasn't running, it would have been around 140, which I'll take. Since I've been running this vent, I need to clean it because it's uh, pretty bad. I just saw that now, I didn't even look. I think I've been running it pretty much the whole day for a few days now and then it's just accumulated. It doesn't help that I'm out in the wild because there's more dust. Gotta clean that up really quickly. I don't really like to use paper towels, but I have no other options right now. I'm gonna make some late lunch because I've been trying to film all day. And the van itself was also in the sun for the most part of the day, so I couldn't really be in here and cook. So now we got some shade on the van. It's still pretty hot, but it's dry heat. If that makes any sense. And we're gonna use the Instapot. <laughs> Let us begin. All right, so I'm going to use one of the recipes of their app, 
but obviously I'm not gonna make it to the T because I mean what's the point point? and I'm going to use most of what they're telling me however I'm going off this recipe because I'm not a hundred percent good at the instant pot so I kind of want to know the how many minutes I need to leave stuff and you know so I don't burn it or I don't undercook it What I usually don't show you on video is how much of a mess making all this food is, but uh, there you have it. Let's see what we got. Did this come out okay? It's a little soupy for my liking, but it's supposed to be taco mix. Wow, in just four minutes, those potatoes get cooked. Normally, if I try to cook them on the skillet, it takes forever. For the most part, I went right after what the recipe said, minus, you know, like 
other ingredients that I didn't have, but for the most part, when it comes to like tomatoes and bell peppers, I know they give out a bunch of juice, but it also said to add extra vegetable stock, which I don't have, so I added some water and it turned out soupy. <laughs> now I think it's gonna be good. I just have to pick up the mixture with uh, a fork. <laughs> let's get those tortillas going and uh, let's see how they are. It is time for the taste test. I think I may need some more spicy sauce, depending because you know how spicy I like stuff. I do like the idea of having the avocado smashed, which is what the recipe said, so let's find out. I tried to keep as much of that juice out, but still got some in there, so it's gonna be a little bit drippy. Mmm, it's really not that bad. Got Melinda's right here, extra hot. That should do the trick. Uh, other than that, it's really good. It's more of a. It came out. It came out more of a like a chili. Man, I really do like the avocado smash like that. I gotta say, makes it easier to eat. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Spicy sauce makes it better. That was an amazing meal. Now I have to go clean up everything. <laughs> Check out this video up here if you wanna see more van life related content. Like, comment, share with your friends and family. Consider subscribing to the channel, it's free. And I'm gonna go enjoy outside for the rest of the day, maybe play some guitar, test out those new strings that I put on there and make a fool of myself. I'll see you in the next one.